Guys. Holy shit, they did it. They did it. I said they'd do it, but they did it a bit late. A new operation is out. Yes, it's called Operation Shattered Feb. And boy, it looks so good. So this, this operation also has a battle pass that you have to buy. But this operation is a bit special and different. In this operation, bring your favorite character into battle with all new equipable agents to any battle, to any casual, competitive scrimmage, any game mode. Bring your own agent. What? So these are the new agents that are available for unlock and you can unlock them through progression by completing missions. I'm not sure if you can buy them, but these, oh my God, these agents are looking so good. But these are the no, these are not the only things that look good, by the way. <laughs> oh, you have a lot to see. But these agents have a tire kind of thing. So the red ones are the biggest higher tires, and you can unlock them if you have unlocked all the missions. More on it in a bit. But look at that. They're so good. So unlock all the new T and C decided characters equipable on any map. All new CT operators and T agents are available as mission progress rewards. Complete missions and earn stars to unlock them and equip them for deployment. Or equip the default local, ag local agent or operator to use the pre-existing map based characters. Which is na na na. Go back. And now they have included end of the match accolades. Basically like Call of Duty Mobile. The end uh, screen thing. Look at that. A small change like this it just refreshes everything so basically this screen will be displayed after the end of any match maybe for casual there will be 10 people but I am not sure about that but this is how it's gonna be at the end of the game Wow that, that's just so good new characters all of them individual different beautiful I can't wait to get them and you have a new case yes CS20 was like now nah, last month right but you got new case now the shattered web case but this is not the only thing uh, you, you, you have new knives four new knives what? you have paracord knife and you have survival knife and you have nomad knife and skeleton knife and it looks so good man and the skins the skins are the best part the skins of these collections and cases are so beautiful Look at this, the containment breach. You can't say no to that. Max and Stalker are so beautiful, man. Bloodshot, SSG, SSG, SG5, 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 Colony. Oh my god, that looks so beautiful. You have Neon Ply, and Prego. And you know, the common, the common tire weapons from this case is also beautiful and equally beautiful as the higher tire, I had higher tire skins. Oh, I, can't, I can't speak, what the f like look at this, this is rat rod and this is pretty decent like it's, it's like good and it's not the best tire and look at this Peter Peter was an obsidian and it's not a high tire look at it it looks good Noah plume it's not a high tire and it looks good all these skins every single one of them they are so beautiful you cannot say no to that but you know what's better you got three new collections New, new skin collections, three more, like the Norse collection. They also have more skins. They don't have knives, none of them have knives, but these are just collections. They have more skins basically, and they aren't bad. So you have the Norse collection, the Saint Mark collection, and the Camels collection. And I think the skins can be unlocked as rewards. And look at that, the Saint Mark collections M4A4 Dark Blossom looks pretty good. But the best, the AK-47 Wild Lotus. Oh my god, I am in love with this thing. Look how beautiful it is, god dang. And then MP9, MP9 Wild Lily, wow, it's so beautiful. These skins are pretty good. I, I am, I, 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 oh my god, I can't speak, man. And then you have the Cannons Collection. They also have good skins. The P250 Dark Filigree, look at that. Every, every, each skin in this collection and the case, they are beautiful. Every one of them is beautiful. I'm really happy with Val. The good thing is they split it. Like they, they gave many skins this time. So it's good. And you have the new skin. And you, and you have the new Shattered Web sticker collection. But, 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 but the best part. 
collect all the new web, uh, web stickers designed by community artists available only as rewards during the operation. Yes, that's good. But there is still a sad news. I'll just see you in a bit. And you have the new graffiti. I'm not really a big fan of graffiti. graffiti. I'm just going to skip it. But yeah, so you have new missions. You will have six new missions each week. So each week receive a new mission card featuring six non-overlapping missions that can be completed in any order. Complete missions and earn stars in casual, competitive, danger zone, guardian and more to complete. But yeah, you have six new missions each week. Complete them to get stars. And uh, if you progress with each, uh, the, uh, if you progress with more stars, you get more rewards. You can see right here, you can get cases, stickers, skins and uh, you can also get operatives slash agents with the ones that they introduced i am still not sure if you can buy those agents because if you can then yeah I'd, I'd buy the agent so you have guardian strike missions pair up with a friend and defend the world from titties and challenging new cooperative campaigns campaigns yeah for you for those americans play through the missions at your own pace and earn guardian xp towards the operation starts and operation weapon drops good and you have an upgradable shattered web coin. You can complete missions and upgrade your coin from bronze to diamond. You have three new maps. I'm sure most of, most of you are not interested in new maps, but here it is. One is called Lunacy, which is like a space thing. I'm not a big fan of it. You also have a new map called Jungle, but this one is a danger zone map. It looks pretty like Crisis 1. Uh, gives me a Crisis 1 vibes for this. And you have Studio, and Studio map looks pretty sick, to be honest. It's more aesthetic than the other two maps, but that's it. That's the new maps and you, there is some effects that you, you guys need to see. So how do I earn rewards? Operation Shattered Web features a battle pass format and operation rewards are earned when you, receive, when you receive enough stars to reach the next reward equipment. For example, if you currently have 20 stars and the next reward is available at 22, you will need two more stars for your next reward, just like a battle pass. You can purchase stars. Yes. Yes. You can purchase stars. Come on, man. Why do you have to ruin it, man? You can purchase stars or earn them by completing missions. If you can just earn com earn the stars by completing missions, that would give you a more satisfactory result. Knowing that only uh, a, a few other people like you have earned all the stars. But now you don't. You, you can't be so special about it because everyone has probably just bought all the stars. How, how can I get Operation Stars? Operation Stars are earned by completing missions on your weekly mission card and can be purchased in game. Purchased. Wow, why? Each weekly mission card grants a maximum of 6 stars except for the first week, which has 10 stars. First week. Week. Chill. It's not boys day. Okay? You don't have to complete all of the missions to get most of your time. You can earn up to 100 stars, enough to earn all of the rewards on the track by completing missions. So there are 16 weeks. Uh, this operation will last longer than 16 weeks. 16 times 6, that would mean 96. But the first one is 10, right? So plus 4. So 100. So 100 stars, totally. So how do I upgrade my operation coin? The only way you can upgrade your coin is from weekly mission cards. Your, your, your coin will be upgraded after you complete 33 missions. Silver, 63 missions for gold, and all 100 missions for diamond. And I will get those... I will get the diamond coin, baby. I will get it. Can I earn more rewards after I complete the rewards track? Yes. There is no limit to the number of times you can cycle through the track. Even if you have earned up to 100 stars by completing missions, you can continue to earn stars by purchasing stars. Okay, so you can purchase stars. You have to purchase stars. Come on, Val. Come on. Why? Which agents have a unique cheers and voices? Master agents have unique cheers and voices. The, the red color ones and they can be equipped in any game mode on any map. You will earn one master agent when you receive 100 stars. So can I play the mission without a pass? Yes, but you will not receive operation rewards. In order to be eligible for operation rewards, you must redeem an operation pass to your account. What do I get with the pass? An operation shattered web coin, operation rewards, which include characters, graffiti, shattered web stickers, shattered web in cases, so on, so on, so on. And weapons from the new collections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can also get XP boost when completing missions. Can I gift operation passes? Yes, but after a week of, per, after, but from, I, I can't speak, man. It's, it's so exciting. Operation passes can be gifted one week after purchase. There is no way to send an operation pass as a gift at the time of purchase. And how do I participate in missions? Just, just click on mission text from the main menu. 
Like, how long do you have to be to ask Mad this man? Come on. How long does Operation Shadow Rib last? The operation will last longer than 16 weeks, and a new set of missions will be unlocked each week for 16 weeks. That's good. This is Operation. Guys, this is beautiful. But that's not it. There is a new blog post. You need to you need to know what's new. So, gameplay change. The SSG uh, SG sorry SG five. I have not used this weapon. Like I have sticked with the AK. I know SG is better, but I'm just old 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 school guy. So they have increased the price of SG to three thousand dollars to bring its price more in line with this value. Three thousand is not enough. Wow, come on. They reduced the price of Famas and Galil by $200 to $2,050 and $1,800 respectively. That's okay, yeah, yeah, that's a significant change. They have improved the full auto spraying accuracy of Famas and Galil. That would make both of them very reliable. That's good. And then they had some danger zone changes. I, danger zone changes. I don't really care about them. And they uh, they have added a new pearlescent coating settings for workshops. So workshop creators can use this new thing. So what happens is uh, the, the, the skin basically looks different on different viewing angles. Uh, I'm pretty sure many uh, skin creators will come up with some beautiful skins with this new tech. And they added some new maps. They added studio to scrimmage and casual Sigma map groups. They added jungle to danger zone rotation. They added lunacy to flying scoutman. Zoo and seaside have been removed. Cash has been moved from scrimmage to competitive. Uh, yeah, guys, that's the uh, operation. Come on, let's just play the operation, man. I can't speak enough. Bye. See ya. Good luck.